It's Hayden Hollis then, pre Notts County at home. Hayden, your old club, how long have you been looking forward to this game for? Um, believe it or not, it doesn't really make a difference to me. You know, it's just another game. It's don't matter who, who it is, you know, it's whether it's Newport, it's Notts, it's Luton, it doesn't matter to me. It's, it's just another game, another three points. Obviously, they're well placed in the table. How important is it that Forest Green go into it in some good form? Yeah, which I think we are. You know, I think we've they've hit a little bit of a, a bad run, especially away from home, and, and we've hit a, a very good run at home. So, yeah, it's going to be a good game. And the gaffer wasn't happy with the defending on Tuesday night down at Newport. The things that were wrong are they easy things to put right in theory? Um, yeah, I think so. You know, I don't I don't think we played too bad, but. You know, when you go away from home and you score three goals, you should should win the game. Um, but you know, we've just got to put it down to a blip because I think we've prior to that, I think we've defended really well. So you've got to try and just just learn from that quickly and, and move on and make sure it doesn't happen again. One of those sort of crazy games. Can you just sort of park it as that and just make sure you just don't repeat it? Or is there sort of you know just something that was happening in that game that made it that 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 crazy style of game? Um, yeah, I think you have to. Um, Obviously, you know, it, it, it's tough when it happens, but you can't worry about it too much. But at the same time, you've got to learn from it and make sure it doesn't happen again. So, yeah. And I suppose the second half is, is proof that you can put it right, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And I thought second half we was good. You know, we was really, really good and probably unfortunate not to win the game. This run that you've been on of late, how noticeable for you as someone who came in fresh in January has the transformation been in the team? Um, that's a tough question to ask me because I weren't here prior to obviously when I weren't here obviously um, so I only saw what was going on from the outside but you know I think from what I saw before to what I saw now we look we look a lot more solid and organised and we've brought players in that are a little bit different probably to what was here before. Forest Green gave County a real scare actually back in the autumn um, 96th minute County got the equaliser wasn't it how much you know Better equipped, do you feel, that Forest Green are, are now to sort of take on one of those top teams? Obviously, you weren't here before, but just in terms of the time that you've been here. Yeah, um, as I say, I think we're more we're more organised and, and more disciplined yeah, defensively. Um, but I remember I was on the bench that day and I thought Forest Green were probably one of the best teams I've seen at Meadow Lane this season, from, from what I've seen. So. And when you're up, when you're up against something like that, I mean, what was the mood in the county dressing room afterwards in terms of, like, was there a feeling they'd got away with one? Um, do you know what they've done that quite often though? They they've got a good. They always score late goals. You know they've they've got a good set of lads there and a good self belief within themselves. And if you look back, they score loads and loads of late goals. You know they keep going and they're mentally mentally very good. You know and and they never switch off. Plenty of experience as well. People will keep them driving on, especially up front. Yeah, exactly. You know the I think the gaffer said today they've got probably played two hundred Premier League games each. So you know they they're very experienced and they know how to play the game. Obviously, you'll have come up against them in training as well. What were the likes of uh, Stead and, and Co like in training? Yeah, you know, really, really good uh, ability, but more importantly, you know, attitude. You know, they, they kept people going every day and making sure that, that no one tossed off, if that makes sense. You know, everyone every day was training at the best, and, and you can see that's why they're up in the league, up in the higher league. And if you can get something out of this, what does it then do to confidence going forwards again and just keep, the, keep it going? Yeah, um, I think we can get something out of it. You know, we've 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 proved that we've played Coventry, we've played Crawley. You know, teams that are up and up and around it, and and we've been better than when we've beat them at home. You know, and obviously that comes down to us executing the job the manager puts out there. So as players, we've got a we can take a little bit of credit for that. But the manager as well put a great game plan together against Crawley, and you know if he's the one that's telling us to make sure to how to play it, if that makes sense, the right tactics, and and we've got to make sure we execute it. Up to 18th now. How far can the team go? Don't know. Don't know. Um, you know, let's for now, let's just make sure we're safe, you know, and, and reassess in the summer. But I know coming here, when, when I signed here in January, we had to make sure we were safe and, and we're slowly getting there. So let's just keep picking up points game by game and, and when we're safe, we can all smile. And is there a goal to get safe as quick as possible? I'd say so, yeah. You know, if... If the, safe, the quicker you can get safe, you know, the, the better off you are. You know, in my time at Notts County, I think the last, not last season, but the two before that, we've, we've both gone down to the last day of the season where we've been fighting to stay up. So, yeah, get as safe as possible and, and then, then not relax, but you can relax a little bit more, I suppose. Thank you. Good luck. Hey, hey um, was it good memories for you at Notts County when you look back on your time there? Yeah, you know, I went straight from there from school and, 
you know, they brought me into the, the men's world, the men's game, and I learned everything I know football-wise there. So, yeah, I wouldn't change a thing. And I guess, really, you're more familiar with your Notts County teammates and your Forest Green teammates since being here from January. But 10 new faces, um, people talk about team spirit. Is there a spirit? Yeah, I think you can slowly start to see it, you know, and and the more the lads bond together and, and the more time they spend together, and the longer it goes on, I think that'll get better. Yeah. 11 games to go now. Has the manager sort of set specific targets for sort of win ratios? Um, he might have done in his own mind, you know, he hasn't, he hasn't said anything to us, but I think we know as players we've got to get as many points as we can as soon as possible, you know, that's, that's the aim. Okay, cheers.